Hi students, I am back to talk to you about our brains again. I want to see if you can remember what are the three parts of your brain that we talked about last time when I was on here. This part and then there's two parts deep inside. Do you remember? Okay, this is our prefrontal cortex. This is the part of your brain that we want to be using when we're at school that helps us to focus and to concentrate and it helps us make good choices and to pause and think before we before we act right and then deep down inside we have one that sort of acts like our watchdog do you remember like our guard dog do you remember what it is it's called the amygdala yeah and he can he can cause some trouble for us sometimes because sometimes he tells us to worry about things that we don't really need to worry about huh or he tells us that things are dangerous when they're really not dangerous so we have to be careful about letting that, that watchdog, that amygdala, um, take over. We have, to, we have to be careful about him sometimes. And then also, we talked about the hippocampus, and that's another one deep inside that helps store our memories and helps, helps all three of those work together. All right, and then the next week, do you remember last week, Miss Booth put together a worksheet and sent out for you guys to learn the difference between mindful behaviors and unmindful behaviors. And you guys did a great job on completing that. The ones of you that, that took that challenge did awesome. Um, this week, we're gonna learn about something called your core practice. I'm excited about this one. This is so as you begin to practice your deep breathing and learning to be more mindful throughout your day, it can be helpful at first, especially, to find um, the right place to do it. So at first, if you can find a place in your house or your yard that is quiet, um, there won't be loud noises, some place that you feel comfortable. I'm sitting here on my floor. I like to sit on my floor. I just, I've always been comfortable on the floor. So, you just want to find a place where you can be comfortable. You also want to make sure your shoulders are relaxed and you can close your eyes if you want to, or you can just look down at the ground, but you don't want to be looking around the room at other people because then that makes them uncomfortable and everybody's looking at everybody and you all feel sort of funny. And I'm going to tell you, it, it's a little awkward at first when you're trying to get used to this and you, you always feel like, am I doing it right? Am I, there's, you're fine, you're doing great. If you're trying to do it, give yourself a pat on the back because that's awesome. It's, it's cool to try new mindfulness activities like this because these are tools that you guys can really use for the rest of your life. Um, I have to use deep breathing. I get to use it almost every day. It helps me just feel more calm and and just ready to, to learn and think about things that I need to be focused on. So just wanna get a comfortable spot, hands on your lap or in your legs and on your legs and you just look down at the ground or close your eyes and then you just get ready. In your class, you may hear a bell or another sound that lets you know it's time to start. And then you can just begin to focus on the way that your breath sounds and the way that it feels. And if you can do this with me at home right now, that would be awesome. So just look at the ground, take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it for a moment, and then let it out. Just notice the way that it sounds and it feels as it exits your mouth. When you breathe in through your nose, see if you smell any smells in the air. Deep breath in and out. And there's something else that I wanted to remind you guys about. You're gonna have thoughts pop up in your head when you're trying this because that's, that's what our minds do. They wander and thoughts come in and out like clouds floating through the sky. So I want you guys to just be aware of that when you're trying this at home, when you're doing this, notice when you're breathing and a thought pops up, ooh, maybe I'll have a corn dog for lunch today. Ooh, should I have ketchup and mustard? See, that's what our mind's gonna want us to do, 
but I want you guys to do something different, okay? I want you to notice, hmm, right now I thought about a corn dog just popped up in my head. And I'm just going to watch that corn dog float away like a cloud in the sky. And I'm going to come back to the sound of my breath and just notice the way that it sounds. The way that it feels in my chest. And the sound it makes when it comes out my mouth. Okay, and that's it. Really, you practice that. Start with a minute of it or two minutes, set a timer and see how it goes. Remember some of the tips, the things that we talked about. Finding a good spot, being comfortable, um, knowing that it's going to be a little awkward and, and maybe a little weird at first, and that's okay. We can do things that are awkward and weird, and, and we can still try them. And, and recognize that this is a tool that you guys can use whenever you're getting ready to, to do something before a test. You need to be focused and concentrating well. You can try it then. It will help calm that, that amygdala in your brain. It's going to help calm it right down and just help you come back here to your prefrontal cortex, okay? And that's what we all want, right? We want to be able to make awesome choices and be a super great boss of ourselves so that we feel confident and we feel happy and we feel like we are in charge of ourselves and we're being a good boss of ourselves every day. I want you to just keep your eyes closed or look down at the ground and just start to breathe in through your nose. Pay attention to the way that the air feels when it comes in through your nose and fills your chest and your belly. Let the breath fill you up. Keep your shoulders dropped and relaxed. And just think about the air coming in through your nose and then out through your mouth. If your mind starts to wander, because that's what minds do, just notice and bring it back your breathing. <laughs>